we are going to be talking about how to spot unlimited triangular arbitrage in today's video by simply using our Binance exchange. I'm going to assume that you already have a Binance account or if you don't actually have one, you can simply sign up for Binance by using the link in the description of this video. And by doing that, you get some amazing bonus from there. Okay. So I aim to achieve two things in today's video. Number one is to actually let those of us who are actually doubting about crypto arbitrage or triangular crypto arbitrage to let them know that it actually exists and is something that can be done on a consistent basis. It's not only dollar arbitrage that exists, crypto arbitrage also exists. And there are so many platforms out there to attestify to this. And secondly, to show you how to be able to spot your own unlimited triangular crypto arbitrage here on Binance. Now, to do this is not actually easy. At times, you take a long time to go through the market and scroll through different cryptocurrencies, trying to find a reasonable cryptocurrency asset to trade as your triangular crypto arbitrage trading. But the thing is that I myself am a very busy person, so I rarely get time to actually find trades or uh, cryptocurrencies to trade, not to talk of cryptocurrency, triangular cryptocurrency assets to trade on. So I'm going to head to establish some lazy way of doing this, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys my idea about that by the end of this video. So we are going to go ahead and start this video right now. But guys, before we do that, my name is Manuel. This is Crypto Prince. Why didn't this channel teach you guys how to make money online? And if you're actually interested in this type of content, I'll teach you about crypto arbitrage, crypto trading, or forex trading, or be it stock trading either, then can you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, put on the bell to channel icon, and like this video. Because how I simply do is straight, that's exactly what I do myself and how it works. So you can also use that same method to make money online for yourself. Now go ahead and take a few seconds to do that. It's not going to cost a single dime. And don't forget to share this video with your friends as well. All right, so now let's go ahead and get the video started. So like I said, go ahead and sign up on Binance if you don't have a Binance account. But if you already have, simply go ahead and log into your Binance account. Now we're going to be using the spot trading for this particular video. And I recommend you go ahead and download the Binance application from the Play Store or App Store, depending on the device you are using. It's very, very easy to do that. Just go to the platform and type in Binance. You're going to see Binance to download over there. So this the reason why we're actually using a mobile device to do this is because the particular function, or should, should I say the particular tool we're going to be using to support this triangular arbitrage is currently only on the mobile version. I've tried locating this on the laptop version or on the desktop version and I didn't see that. So kindly go ahead and use the mobile version, the application to get into this place, okay? So obviously when you get into this place, you're gonna be launched into BTC, which is BTC USDT, this particular one, all right? So you can, you already don't have to navigate to your Binance account. So I don't have to teach, start teaching you about all those things right now, okay? So what I'm gonna be using is the function compare. And to actually look at that, simply click on this three dot icon at the top right corner over here. So right here, we have several tools over here. Now, the one we are interested in is this one over here that says compare market. Go ahead and click on that. So what this is simply showing you is the comparison of bank or BTC in different markets. You can see different percentages of these things over here. And you can see the, you can see the, the pairs that they are being launched with over here. All right. So as you keep on scrolling, you're going to see a lot of other cryptocurrencies and a lot of other stable and uh, local currencies over here. Now, we for one are only interested in the crypto assets, which is the USDT, the likes of USDT, BUSD, DAI, and um, TRY, TUSD, USDC, and so on. We are not really interested in this fiat currencies like BIDR, uh, BRL, EUR, GBP, and so, so many of them, okay? So what I simply want you guys to take a look at for me is these prices of the cryptocurrencies over here. Now, this is actually what's going to let your triangular arbitrage trading possible. Now, if you take a proper look over here, you're going to notice that there are quite different in prices over here. Now, if you're, if you're a person who is living in Europe and you can actually trade with your EUR, then you may be able to take advantage of such an arbitrage of this. But if you're a person who is not living in any country that your currency is mentioned over here, 
then you don't have to panic either you just have to focus solely on the usdt and uh B BUSDDI and so on over here so enough of that explaining let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what i'm trying to teach you over here so what we do over here is to come over here and take a look at the prices of the of the btc or any cryptocurrency you want to match with to compare to the dollar rate at that place okay now if you take a proper look at the prices right here you're gonna notice that they are quite different in prices now i obviously understand why the market is moving so so quick this is because we are using btc for this that is why i personally don't normally like to use btc when it comes to this type of arbitrage trading or triangular arbitrage trading because we're gonna have to move our money through different assets and to do that in btc is relatively not possible as you can see over here the money is moving quite quick all right from 28 to 30 from 30 to 25 from 25 to 40. so the movement is quite large in all these different cryptocurrency markets which is why we resort to the smaller markets okay so you can go for something like req uh, by the way this is just a comparison okay so you, you you get to choose the the pair you want to trade with depending on the opportunities that arises there you must not use the ones that is on screen all right so go ahead and click on the same thing i clicked on and go to the compare and it's going to bring you over to a page like this so this is also the same thing you saw with the btc you're seeing over here but right now the prices are quite different okay so how this move how this how, well, how this works is that you have to move from the one with the lowest crypto rating and then you end up selling to the one with the highest dollar to crypto rating so basically what you're doing is buying low and you're selling high so judging from what we have right here in req we are probably going to be starting our trade off with this particular one req usdt or req busd and we're definitely going to be ending the trade with req ptc now this obviously is going to be profitable if you are not being charged a single fee or anything but we know that whenever you're trading on exchanges like binance you are definitely going to be charged some trans transaction fees so those transaction fee trans fees could cost up to 0.02 dollars or 0.02 percent sorry of the amount of money you are using to trade so over here i just did a little browsing over here and i asked how much fees does binance charge and you can see over here they say that binance charge around 0.1 percent fee to 0.5 percent fee for instant buy and sell that is your spot market all right so this shows you that you're gonna be paying from 0.1 percent to 0.5 percent fees so let's go ahead and run this off and say binance is probably gonna charge you about 0.2 percent fee for any amount of assets you use to trade okay so let's say you are actually dealing with about a thousand dollars for this arbitrage okay so that's 0.2 percent multiplied by 1000 that's giving you like two dollar charge for every single 1000 trade 1000 dollar trade you perform over here now honestly most of the time binance doesn't really charge you up to this amount but they just use this as a reference purpose okay so you are definitely gonna do this for like three times because you're gonna have to transfer from a from a stable coin to another coin then from another coin to another coin so it's three times three three that's one two okay sorry it's two trades okay so you're gonna have to go from stable coin to a volatile coin then from that volatile coin to probably another stable coin but for instance there is also another profit that means you have to trade like four different trades and that means you have to pay these fees for like three times but if you're trading for three different coins that means you're paying this fee for two times so you go ahead and multiply this by two that's giving you four dollars at the end of the trade if you have to use this amount of money to trade okay so back to binance right here and let's go back to the req usdt pair and go ahead and compare it again okay so you can see right here that we are having we are having the the lowest assets as of now to be coming from busd all right so so what you're basically gonna have to do right here is to buy req using your busd okay 
so you need to have busd first of all for you to be able to start this okay so you have to buy req using your busd then what you have to do is sell that req to btc all right that as you can see that the price of btc is quite very high over here to to, US, to usd right so buy req with busd sell req to btc then finally you can convert your btc back to usd if you wish so in this case you are actually gonna be dealing with three transaction fees costing you up to six dollars if you are dealing with the 0.2 percent binance rate it's one thousand dollars okay now the question is how are you supposed to know that you're actually gonna be making a lot of like the amount of profit that is gonna be way higher than this all right so let's just do a quick calculation about this strategy to see how profitable it could be okay so remember i told you that this strategy is not really that easy to get because you will have to look deep and hard for a profitable arbitrage okay but let's just go ahead and take a look at this okay so let's go for req and um come to this place okay so you can see right here that we are having massive margin gain in btc to busd okay so you're gonna purchase in req with your busd which is at the rate of 0 0.0 0.0815 all right so, so for the purpose of reference sake i have gone ahead and wrote these numbers down so i, uh, the, I do not miss it when the market moves all right so let's go ahead and do this okay so you're basically buying busd with the, at this rate of 0.081059 we should go right here and do the math okay so let's just say you're buying 1000 busd one thousand you're using 1000 busd to possess the req so that would be 1000 divided by 0 0.0 that's 0 0.081068 that's gonna give you amount this 12,335 req right here all right so you are gonna be selling this to btc that is currently that is worth about 0 0.01068 dollars in req okay so that's gonna be like multiplied by 0 0.081068 Sorry, that was a mistake. Uh, BTC is actually 0.01457. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so that's going to be giving you 1,004.79844 dollars. So if you, if this is BTC as I need to, so you need to convert it back to stable coin, which is USDT probably. So this is definitely going to be charging you about a total of, at the end of the day, $6 for got for transaction fees so if you go ahead and do this minus six then you're definitely the one losing two dollars from this trade by the time you're done with it so you can start this is not really that profitable trade so this is exactly what, what i was trying to explain to you guys by the fact that the fact that if you go through this it doesn't necessarily guarantee you of getting a profitable trade now what's the best way to do this the best way to do this is actually to do it the lazy way. I know a lot of you, lot of you will be like, okay, what is actually this lazy way that you've been talking about? Well, the lazy way I'm talking about is none other than getting your own crypto bot. All right? So you can go to Fiverr, you can go to anywhere or anybody, anybody that is de developing cryptocurrency bots. Talk to the person, tell the person exactly what I just showed you. You can share my video with the person, let the person go through it and understand the person is probably going to understand this way more better than you because the person has been into the into the case or into the study for quite a while so you tell the person exactly what you want the person is definitely going to create your own specific crypto bot that will run these checks automatically throughout binance without you having to do a single time there are, like, there are tons of cryptocurrencies over here in binance that you can actually do this with all right so there are more box there are so many other ones over here you can compare your market you can see different prices over here in different cryptocurrency assets now definitely what this is going to do is that the plus the bot is going to be the one to do the calculations automatically then it will figure out at the end of the day how much profit is this particular amount of money willing to bring from this set of trades is it going to be a triangular arbitrage is it going to be a quadruple arbitrage based on the amount of volatile cryptocurrencies that is going to be involved and stable coins that is going to be involved 
then it is going to calculate the amount of transactions it will need to complete in order to be able to gain a profitable arbitrage from this trade. Then it will decide whether to take an actual trade for you or not. So basically, this is just the simple, the lazy man way, the way that you don't have to get involved with this without to be the one looking in your Binance trying to find a profitable trade from here. So yeah, so that's basically how it is. Okay, so there are so many people who have actually had several tons of orders you can contact and see. Okay, so this person is actually a DCA crypto bot. All right, so uh, this is not the person you want to go with. Okay, so you want to go with somebody that can build crypto arbitrage bots and find a person who is actually legit on on Fiverr or legit or any other place you want to go ahead and trade your asset with. Okay. So basically, this is, the, this is the whole concept of this particular strategy. Come over here in Binance, choose a particular cryptocurrency you want to trade with, go to the compare, compare the markets and see the prices at which the markets are being sold at. This is the simple concept of the market you, you need to understand, all right? So yeah, so it's actually as easy as that and um, I am open for any questions you guys might have about this strategy. And if you actually need more explanation or if you have more questions, you can ask that in the comment section and I'll put that into consideration. If it's something that hasn't been answered in this particular video, then I'll make another video answering that particular question or, or you know, several of them join together. Okay, so this is going to be it for this video. If you do have any concerns about this, please do not hesitate to make your intentions known at the comment section. I will see you guys in the next one. Do not forget to guys subscribe to the channel, put on the bell icon and like this video. And if you're also a person who is interested in crypto trading, I have an amazing video that is showing currently right now on your screen. Go ahead and click on that to get started on that particular strategy.